Hi everyone, it's Raja and Raven, and you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. <laughs> We're going to be tuning and booting the looks from the main stage, season 15 of... Oh my gosh. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> season 15, a brand new season, a brand new year. We have a whole new group of contestants. I'm so excited to see them and meet them. This was a double premiere. We are going to be tuning and booting their looks as they walked into the workroom. And then the second was their very first runway. My first outfit, it would need carbon dating to prove that it is it, still... It did exist. <laughs> and speaking of museum... This was in the Louvre a couple years ago. It's you mean in the Louvre. <laughs> this is what I wore in to season two 13 years ago. Now, if I were to enter the workroom in this, I would expect everyone to absolutely <laughs> read me to film. <laughs> but now you are giving yourself your very first impression. You want to be bold, you want to be confident, you want to show the world that this is who I am, this is what I do, and do not with me. Agreed, I know, so much pressure. And I mean, I heard you like to make a big, bold impression. I do. And that's why anything I wear now makes me feel bold and confident. Like Trojan's bare skin, raw condoms. Raw. Get closer than ever before. With America's thinnest latex condom. As raw as it gets. Uh. Trojan Bearskin raw. raw. Giving you the confidence and comfort to be bold and explore in your own way. Raw. Let's do what we do best. Letting you know our opinions. It's just fun to talk about people's outfits. It is fun. <laughs> and, uh, you know, everyone We're does it. We're doing what everyone else yeah. is doing. Yes. If you have anything to say, send it Raja's way. <laughs> <laughs> Irene Dubois. The Make paint is lovely. Yes. Look at that mug. She's yeah. done. She's totally gorgeous. My favorite thing about it is the ears and the hair. Like, I yeah. just love that elven kind of and the uh, face. labyrinth. David yeah. Bowie kind of feels. Elf queen. But as a first impression, I'm not like crazy impressed about it. I think this outfit is something that like doesn't really surprise me. There's nothing wrong with the outfit itself. It's just kind of like she could pretty much be anybody. This is the first bitch mm -hmm. in the workroom. Not that, that we hold that against her. I do think she looks really beautiful, but I'm just kind of like saying like she's like eight different drag queens. Maybe we're just old biddies. I don't know. We are. Her. And I'm like, we are. I'm like, the boot kind of gives me like Kids Choice Awards. Maybe lose all the little tufts of marabou. It was put together well. Yeah. You know, all of the elements are there. I'm gonna give it a two. Yeah, I'm gonna give this one a soft toot as well. Next we bring to the stage Lux Noir London. My first impression is she is someone who has done her homework, but said, I'm not gonna copy your paper. I'm gonna do my own thing. You can definitely tell when somebody has a presence and she walked into the room and I felt her power. Yeah. This outfit is so well put together. I am normally a person who likes excess, but this, I love the streamlined quality to it. It's kind of Elvis, it's kind of David Bowie. Exactly. It's a little bit of everything, but not the expected things like we saw from Irene Dubois. Makeup mm -hmm. looks great. That long flowing wig, which has got to be human because mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. not tangling on anything. Maybe she could have had a thicker, more opaque panel put in the side so you didn't see like her mm -hmm. tights, but I mean, it's still good. And anytime a drag queen wears white and does not get it covered in makeup or nail glue or anything, bravo, bitch. Miss London gets an absolute toot for me. Toot. Aura Mayari. She gave every move that you can see in any drag show from <laughs> Washington down to Florida, New York to Southern California. I think Aura is really quite beautiful and I really love the jacket. I love the ensemble of it. I think it's sexy. There's something kind of dominatrix about it, like the, the shiny vinyl-y part of it. The look is all there. She's got a beautiful coat on and she's painted beautifully. I would have done maybe a bigger belt. Belt is a little bit like the one that she would wear if she was going to church. It's mm -hmm. definitely not one that goes with the costume. I will say the coat looks a little oversized for her. That's not a problem for me. I like things that are too big. For me. 
I think she's beautiful. I think we definitely got a little appetizer of who she is as a queen. I don't care for the hair. The hair needed to like body and volume to it. Do something shorter, a little bit more piled up and sexy and messy. Like Madonna in um, Justify My Love, where it mm. looks like she just got off the train. She was just Tousled, she's going sexy. to get. Yeah. 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 But it's a toot. Toot. Next, we bring to the stage Marsha. 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 Marsha, Marsha, Marsha is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. But this entrance look is a yawn, yawn, yawn. Z, Z, Z. <laughs> go ahead and put those right there. She doesn't look like Marsha Brady to me. She looks like she manages a Charlotte Russe. I want the Marsha fantasy. And then you flip the hair over and it's like this old shtick. Camp it up. Give me, give me what your name sounds like. I wish there was a little more heel. I wish the necklace was a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. I wish that suit were tailored a little bit better. It just doesn't feel vintage to me. It feels like vintage 90s or something. If you're doing something that's so iconic mm -hmm. as Marsha Brady, mm -hmm. and especially Marsha Brady, who's been hit in the face with a football, let us have it. I love the concept. I love that she is clever, but the execution of a first entrance look that should be bold, that should be powerful, that should say a little bit more about yourself. This isn't happening for me. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a boot. Boot. Next we bring into the workroom, Anitra. Oh. The way she moves, effortless. Mm -hmm. It feels like she's been doing drag for a while. Like she really understands herself. As long as you're exuding self-awareness and confidence, 100. you could have been doing drag for a week and look like you've been doing it for a hundred years. Only thing I don't like is the helmet. I would have liked the helmet if maybe it were padded or sitting up on her head. It just makes her head look like really tiny, which I am envious of because I have a large head. <laughs> I don't mind the helmet. I think it actually kind of ties it all in together and makes it a little bit more edgy. You're wearing open-toed shoes. She's still padded and wearing tights, but she said, I'm gonna show these toes. If you got toes, show your toes. I give her two. Toot. Up next, we have Malaysia Baby Doll Fox. Yes, bitch. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Statement that right away. Makeup, bitch. Impeccable. She's absolutely gorgeous. She's Isn't she stunning. I love, 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 love when you look at queens and mm -hmm. you don't even see their eyeballs. Mm -hmm. You just see her lashes and liner and all of that. I'm lost in this. I love everything. It's campy, it's colorful, it's cute, it's sexy, it's all encompassing. Mm -hmm. Just that little like. Slit-eyed, sexy, curvy, like, yes. I'm into her. Toot. Next, we bring to the stage Princess Puppy. She is a very lovely queen. Look at that lithe, young body, leggy, gorgeous. I would think the message here would be, you're a painter, you're an artist. I mean, she does have a brush like a magic wand, but why not a tiara? Something that says more princess. This is neither princess nor poppy. It comes off as like she's at a debutante training where she needs to, you know, learn how to walk with her shoulders straight. It just comes off. Boring. Yeah. I would come in as like an empress with an opium pipe because opium comes from poppies. But this, this is confusing me. If you're supposed to be an artist, it's not reflecting what you do as an art form. This is a very generic, maybe straight out of the bag outfit. If she had two minutes to change this look, what would you do? Rip off the wig, tilt that fascinator to the front, mm -hmm. put your hands in any type of paint you can get your hands on and splatter it all over. Yeah. Do something more fun with it. Mess up your hair a little bit, run your fingers through it, give it a crunch, give, give me some life to it because right now it's cadaver. I need it to live for me a little bit more. My favorite thing about this is the white office pump, bitch. Mm. I love me a white office uh -huh. pump, but eh. Boot. It's a boot for me. Next, we bring to the stage Sasha Colby. Hey! She looks fantastic! This look all goes together. The ornamentation in the hair, mm -hmm. that bodysuit, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the airbrushing on it, the mm -hmm. rhinestones. She has things hanging off of her hips, which look like poi balls, which is definitely a reflection of her culture. But I really like that because she is giving me full warrior. She is ready to fight. This is bold, Knowledge. this is beautiful, confident. 
And this look is very, very much her. It's her style. She is impeccable. It's a toot. Toot. So they reset the workroom and then they bring in a whole new set of queens to confuse the first group of queens. Yeah. Is that what's happening here? Mm. Season 15, they gotta change it up. They gotta make it <laughs> different. They gotta make these bitches sweat. Yeah, they gotta f a different hole. Oh. Mm -hmm. Selena S. Titties. I love this outfit, bitch. I love, love, love this outfit. I am emotional about it because this says everything to me about what I know as LA drag or yeah. as how I learned it. We know the look. She's Absolutely. Serving. The I grew flannels, the boxer sticking out, the, the low Dick, rise the, Ben Davis or Dickies, Dickies whichever. Right. The belt with your initial on it, mm -hmm. the, the tube socks. That is West Coast culture. I love the little subtle femininity about it. Mm -hmm. That flowy plaid yeah. that's done in like pastel. I especially love that flannel. That flannel yeah. is what I kind of need that. I need that for like every day. It says everything about her. It gives me all the first impression feels. I, I feel her power. I feel her journey. Toot. Toot. Next we bring to the stage Amethyst. Oh my God, no. <laughs> No, this, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did everyone go off the same Instagram sale somewhere? I don't, I'm not really sure, I'm bored. It's not very original. I definitely see Britney Spears, I see Ariana Grande, I see maybe a little Jessica Simpson. She threw all pop stars in a vat, and whatever boiled to the top, she skimmed off and threw on herself. Favorite part about this is the wig. I do love the hair. Mm -hmm. I do think it's nice, but boot. Boot. Up next, we bring into the workroom Jax. Um. <sighs> mm -mm. No. No, ma'am, Pam. <laughs> Again, it's that thing where she utilized the resources that are available on Instagram, mm -hmm. and she had an outfit made. I just feel like this is wearing her. She didn't present it in a way that's like, oh, wow, fierce. And as she takes the jacket off, I'm like, no, put it back on. Oh my God, yeah. Oh, sh With that boyfriend jacket, I would have worn something skimpier, maybe hiked up the skirt, bring up the waistline so it nips it in the waist, throw in a tip for sake, something to balance out that big bouffant hair. Like, I'm not, I'm not really understanding the references. Or have your pom-poms right here. Pom-poms, like, pom-poms, yeah. a megaphone. Or a baton, twirl a baton into the room. Where are the props? The best part about it is the rhinestones and the fact that there's very few flyaways on her wig, but everything else I could pass on. Two minutes to alter this. Hike that skirt up an inch under to where that J is. Throw a corset under it. Maybe a thigh-high striped uh, sports sock. That would make it look a little more like, oh, I get what you're doing. But it's just not giving. It's a boot. It's a boot. Next, we bring to the workroom Lucy LaDuca. I like the fabric. I love acid wash. I love that addition of pink. It takes me to like Barbie and the Rockers. I can tell that Lucy LaDuca would entertain me. Yeah, she would entertain she would. the f and, out of me. You know, this hair, it is a drag staple. I think I every think so. queen has worn this style mm -hmm. or will wear this style at least once in their life. But there's something about this that looks off. I don't like from the knee down. Why does everything need to be a chap? Yeah. You know, it's like, I've seen it. We did that. With that said, I do think she's cute. She's cute. <laughs> she's and really the, cute. And the hair. I like her titties. I like the big f fluffy hair. And she is like singed uh -huh. in that little dress. Uh huh. Um, and, and as soon as she walked in, I felt her personality. That I appreciate. Sometimes it doesn't really take an outfit to impress me. I yeah. mean, as much as I enjoy style and fashion, I really like to feel a queen's presence. I love this Barbie Dolly Parton kind of theme, but the only thing that's that's kind of like, uh, I wish that wasn't there is the leg. Pull it around the ankles like a, like an actual leg warmer and give it like yeah. an 80s Barbie Lisa Frank kind of feel to it. And right now it's just like, well, let me put these straps on here so I can look like previous seasons or, pre or people that you see on the internet. Two. Two. Next we bring to the workroom, Mistress Isabel Brooks.
I feel like the things we should read her for, it's the bodysuit with the cutouts and the chains and the belts and then the robe. Then we're going back to the spray painted side and then it's her own hair mixed into it and then that f makeup. I feel bad because I'm going to say, bitch, I live for it because I do. I live for I, it. I like, I really <laughs> love it. It tells me exactly where she's from. She is American, specifically from Houston, Texas. I see it all. Mm -hmm. You can tell this bitch is probably sneaking into clubs at a very young age and was around queens that have been doing drag for, I'm gonna say at least 20 30 years. years. Oh, 30. <laughs> <laughs> she has so, mentorship yeah. and tutelage and love from mm -hmm. people who have been doing this for a long time and you can, you can see all of their influences in this. She is rhinestone the house down. I feel her. Yeah. I see her. This lives up to Mistress, Mistress Isabel Brooks. Brooks. And I want more. Toot. Toot. Next we bring Robin Fiance. She's sexy as hell. Uh, I love her. Yeah. Uh-huh. She's giving me like early to mid 90s supermodel. She's wearing some of my favorite colors, beiges and browns. Mm -hmm. uh, it kind of feels almost military. It's kind of aviator. The hair looks brilliant. Especially love the makeup. Mm -hmm. I think she's painted so beautifully. The makeup is present, but it still gives me soft. Not skimping or saving on the glamour. No. You know, she's really, really taking it there. You know what would have been cute? Mm -hmm. Is maybe some aviator sunglasses or aviator goggles to kind of like Sun. finish it off. Maybe a handbag too. She's like ready for the day. You know, she's not, mm -hmm. she doesn't look uncomfortable. Statement, but like not trying too hard. It's a two. It's a two. And last but not least, sugar and spice. Oh my God, they're so cute. <laughs> Aw, they're like little bookends, mm -hmm. little salt and pepper shakers. Are they competing together or against each other? Against each other. Oh, I love this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, now we're okay. We've never seen that before, right? Actual yeah. siblings no. mm -mm. competing against each other? Nope. Love it. Anything to spice it up oh. a little bit more. I like that. Let's okay. see if they're sisters after the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into the spices look more than I am into sugars. I like this MySpace scene girl. 2005. <laughs> Very. Actually, they're both giving that post Y2K vibe. Very turn of the century. Turn of the century. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. If you're gonna come in as twins and you're gonna present yourself as twins and then, you know, break off and say each sold separately, why not show up in coordinating outfits? They say they're Bratz dolls. I see that. They're giving more Bratz than dolls. Yeah, they're giving more <laughs> Bratz than dolls. But what I also love is like in Sugar's hair, all of those butterfly clips that are in a row like they were back then. Mm -hmm. And then in Spice's hair, they're kind of haphazardly Broken. thrown yeah. in there. This is done in a cute way. I'm gonna go ahead and give these two a two. It's a two. Trend alert! Long ass drag names. First, middle, second middle, third middle, last, first hyphenated. last. Hyphenated. Hyphenated. The third. Next to the stage, we bring Venti, Vanilla. Cut off shorts. Cut off shorts. Brooks. <laughs> Brooks. <laughs> Our, top Our top two of the week is... Malaysia... Baby doll. Baby doll. Fox. Fox. Okay. Yes, top two. <laughs> Malaysia baby doll Fox. Malaysia, Malaysia baby, baby doll Fox. Fox. Foxy lady. Foxy brown. I think she I is you. sexy. I live. Fox Cupcake Jr. <laughs> From Saskatoon. <laughs> Jacobs. Catch an all new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race season 15 Fridays on MTV. And if you live outside of the US, Canada, or Australia, you can watch on WOW Presents Plus. I'm gonna go slip into something more comfortable. Where are those condoms? <laughs> <laughs>